So we left the Bitter Springs this morning um, after having a beautiful swim and meeting up with some people, having a bit of a chat. Um, we've headed up to Catherine. Um, we're down at Catherine Gorge at the moment. Um, there's a nice little caravan park um, very close to the jetty where the gorge tours are from, um, taken from. Uh, the beautiful little park. Um, we'll put in the name of it. I actually just cannot pronounce his name. Um, whether it's just me or not, I don't know. But yeah, they've got a nice amenities block. Very clean. Um, actually got a swimming pool here. I'm in the unpowered section. Um, we don't need power. And it's um, $25 a night. So quite reasonable in that aspect too. So possibly tomorrow we'll check out the gorge and see whatever else we can find um, around town um, yeah then we'll be heading north after that again so just a bit of a spin around the pool right over the back there it's not too far just looks very small on this camera nice amenities block very clean this park parks quite big um, very laid out um, so yeah, we've just pulled up at the start, so if we wanted to walk into the gorge part, we, we actually can. But yeah, beautiful little spot. Lots of grass and lots of trees around. So if you want the shade or you don't want the shade, it depends on where you actually want to park. But yeah, it's filling up a little bit at the start here. I'm not sure what the rest of it's like. We didn't, I didn't even bother driving over there and checking it out so yeah this is us for now
So to get to this beautiful lookout, we've got a fair few flights of stairs to where we're going down, but you do have to do them to come up. So I started this at the top lookout, and just to give you an idea of how steep these stairs are, they're actually a fair way up. It's not too bad, you take your time. Um, there's two lookouts, um, we're just coming down to the first one as you're coming up the stairs. Um, I was a bit too puffed out to talk this one going up. It's um, extremely hot today, It'd be in the mid-30s, so it's um, a bit too hard to talk when you're doing some of these bigger hikes. I think it was a three or a four, so a fairly decent one. What a beautiful view though. Unfortunately we could not get on a cruise, which I would have loved to have done. I guess um, that's a good reason to come back up here and check out a bit more and jump on one of these cruises and head up the gorge on one of these boats would be absolutely beautiful I think the morning one would be probably one of the best but let's head keep heading down um, I did get told that you can walk along the near the water's edge which I didn't know so we're going to walk that way I mean look how steep this is to go down give you some idea of how steep this is Right, we'll see you at the bottom. So the way we came was up from the, was sitting along the edge at the top there, and then you go up these stairs all the way up to the top there, which is a fair hike. But these people just told me if you go down, this walk actually takes you back to the visitor centre as well as the other one the other one you sit on the edge of it a fair bit more halfway up the hill so you've got a, probably more stairs that way where I came but we'll go down here and check out near the water's edge and they say it takes me along the water's edge almost to visitor centre Who knows, you might be lucky and see a freshy, freshwater crocodile. Seems like there's a little boat down here. cruise boats I think. This way seems a bit shaded too so it'll be good. There you go, right on the water's edge. A beautiful spot. Definitely wouldn't be keen to go in there, not for a swim. swim danger on them. it's very tempting but I definitely would not get in there
So basically where you would get your tours, if you walk straight down, the grassy part up the end there is where that track starts. these cruise boats you can hear all the bats might be able to get a bit better of a shot I've tried a few times to get a shot of these thousands and thousands of them just covering the trees right on the water's edge though that we actually went up so instead of going that way where it says track go up and the lookout go down towards the boat tours straight across the grass area there's a little bit of the inside that I didn't know and follow the track back to the um, information centre back through to the campground. Uh, 